Well, today I am in Middletown, Maryland. I almost said Pennsylvania. We're in Middletown, Maryland, and we are here at the Goodwill. Been a few weeks. We're gonna check it out, see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Right off the bat, we have a figurine from South Africa. I'll take that. <laughs> Fantastic. Here is a spoons crock. I like that. Unfortunately, it's been glued back together. $8.49. I've actually bought and sold this one before. It sells for about 20 bucks on eBay. Original price, $29.95. There's a handsome rooster back there with lots of chipping, unfortunately. All right. Oh, there's also a pretty lady in the back. All right. She's kind of pretty, isn't she? <laughs> she looks like Holland mold, maybe Atlantic mold. There's no markings on the bottom. She's pretty though. I also like this nurse in the back, made of resin. Oh, she's got elf ears. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. There's a pottery candlestick holder, Italy. All right. How much is it? Six dollars and forty-nine cents. Remember, Jocelyn, you have to look at the prices when we're in Maryland. This. Does that have any age? Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm used to it saying for decorative. Look, it's right there on the sticker. Not for food use. It will poison you. Okay, let's continue. Here is the holiday, Christmas, and Easter. Music is extremely loud here, but I think, <laughs> I think we're all right. Uh, let's look through here. This kind of looks nice. It's a salt glaze. It probably said uh, Williamsburg reproduction, but somebody felt the need to cover that up. It could have also been row pottery. I'm not really sure. There's an art pottery vase in the back. Get a closer look at that. Uh, there's a very faint scribble on the bottom, but that's not going to do me much good. What is that? DRH. One of the ways I avoid uh, copyright strikes is I talk very fast and I try to talk loud so that um, it confuses the YouTube robots that detect copyright strikes. So if you notice that I'm talking very fast, that's the reason why. <laughs> Works pretty well though. That looks like a scribble marking $7.49. So even though I like it, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that. Kind of looks like Tonala pottery, actually. Not much in the candle votives. I like the looks of that mug. Oh, there's a chip on it. I was gonna say, I might keep that for myself, but I'm not gonna mess with it with that chip, even for myself. <laughs> That's a fun glaze they used on that, and there is a picture in the back that matches it. I was noticing there were some plates with this. What is this carnival hand painted collection made in China? And then some Franciscan desert rose that has been repaired, it looks like. Buck 49 on that. That is something pottery, $1.49. I wonder if those are for chopsticks. Hmm. Pick that up. I'm gonna glance over the plates real quickly. Uh, oh, those are fun. <laughs> Frisco kitty dishes. That one there looks like it could be interesting. A closer look at that. It's Italy. It has this indent in the middle though that makes me think that something's supposed to sit on it. What is this? Interesting. I kind of like the design on that. I can't tell if it's supposed to be that color or if that's discoloring. And there's a lot of cracking on it, so I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. Well, that was <laughs> disappointing. I saw the texture of it, and when I picked it up, I thought, oh, maybe that's fire and light, but it is not. That's kind of pretty. What is that? Bella Casa by Gans. Hmm. Kind of looks like a Gouda Holland, <laughs> a little bit. Here is some more art pottery. Oh, look at that little lid. That's cute. Somebody made that. I'm gonna circle through here one more time because I came through kind of fast the first time just to get like a preliminary view of everything. So now we're gonna slow down. This is 3.49. I found the bigger ones before and they do all right. Here is a, uh, a nice tile, but unfortunately it has been repaired. There's a bunch more of the Franciscan. 
Uh, $3.49. Oh, it's the cup and saucer for $3.50. I found that these usually sell between $8 and $12 for the set. So I'm not sure it's really worth it at that price. Is that enamel? Oh, it is. But unfortunately, there's damage there. And it is made in China. It's a fun shape. I guess that is a coffee mug, but you can see there's a contemporary sticker on the bottom. Yeah. Pottery mug. That one has a crack as well. Over here, what is this? That is made in Mexico. I wonder if that would be Talavera. It's kind of an interesting color. $2.49 spoon rest. Mm, yeah, I might grab that. Back, I see XOXO. It looks like it might be right on. I'm gonna check it out. It is Pottery Barn Valentine. Okay, so maybe not. What about this guy here? Don't mind me just reaching through. That is 62. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, you guys have me looking up the cast iron now. <laughs> I looked this one up. They have $9.49 on it. Uh, what I found was it sells for about like $12 to $18. So it is large brand. I do want to look at this one down here. What is this one? Is that, that, I don't think that's cast iron. Something griddle. Yeah, not cast iron. And I don't really see anything else. I am still learning cookware though. Is that a treasure craft? Spoon rest. Is it? Made in, we may never know. It's kind of sweet though. How much is it? Six, six dollars and 49 cents. This angel is made in Japan. I know because I peeled the sticker to check. Um, it's two dollars and forty nine cents. I don't know. I think I might take him with me. They are currently restocking, so I didn't actually pick up on that when I walked in because it was very discreet stocking. Um, but kind of made me want to check one last time. Is that what I think it is? Is that the Skull Candy Sensi? Maybe not. No, this is something else. This is just a light. A light of some sort for Dia de los Muertos? Dia de Muertos? Something like that. So those lamps are kind of fantastic. Painted milk glass. It looks like somebody converted them. They may have originally been oil lights so and then somebody added uh, hardware and whatnot to them. That's what it looks like anyway. And probably Victorian era. Those look like they could be California pottery, maybe not. Uh, they would have gone with the Lazy Susan though, and who knows where that ended up. Looks interesting, $2.49. I wonder if that's Fostoria American. I can never tell the difference. <laughs> no matter how, time, how many times you guys have told me in the comments how to tell the difference, I still can't. That one's just a pressed glass. I think that this is a um, butter dish, right? Would have had a, a cover, so I'm gonna go check the clear section. Okay, well there are no butter dish lids here. It was worth a shot. These back here are some form of plastic. Oh, shoot, I'm throwing them all over the place. Okay, what does it say? Um, it says Berman. Something Ohio. Interesting. Berman. I've never heard of that before. So people are asking like, I don't know, 12 to $18 for this set, but there are none sold, so that doesn't really give me much confidence. Well, I think that's it for the hard goods. We didn't find much today, but I'm gonna go check out the purses because I've never looked at the purses here at this Goodwill. That's really colorful in the back. Aruba, someone must have brought that back from their travels. It's pretty worse for wear. Jacqueline Smith. Mm. Again, I like this one back here. <laughs> I guess I have weird taste. Um, let's check this out. $5.49. It's probably artisan made is what I'm thinking. Come on, I just want to see what that says. There we go. There's no real markings or anything on the inside. Kind of boho looking though, I think that's why I'm attracted to it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy that. It's $5.49. I like the look of it, even though it's not a brand. It's back here. Honduras. 
All right, we've got Honduras. We have Aruba. We have this rabbit. Maybe this is a cheetah. <laughs> so I have this serious weakness for Vera backpacks. I don't know why, but I always have to check them out. Oh my gosh, I really love this, but look at the price on that. $17.49, I can't do that. Even though I really like it. This one's interesting. Genuine leather made in Italy is what it says on the inside. Does it have a name brand on it? No, it's just genuine leather. Made in Italy, that's all we've got. Hmm. I do love the print on that. But it's got lots of schmutz on it and I really don't know how to clean that. Here's another Vera. That one's a crossbody. Ah, uh, the price. Let's check it out. $14.49, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe not. What in the world kind of creature is this? <laughs> I saw it from across the store and I'm like, I have to go look at that. It has wings and a really long, it's like a giraffe? <laughs> Hatchimals. Oh my goodness, I remember when my kids just had to have Hatchimals. So this is probably one of, one of the better ones because that would have come in a really large Hatchimal egg. $9.49. Okay, well our total spend there at the Middletown Goodwill was $21. Uh, the little figurine, the South African figurine that I spotted right off the bat and was so excited about, I realized as he was wrapping it that it was in fact broken. So that was like, oh, bummer. Um, no wonder it was so cheap. It was only $2.50, I think. That's probably why they probably knew it was broken and I didn't. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably going to head home I think that's where I'm heading. Um, it's an hour and 20 minutes home, and I think I might hit traffic, so it might be a little longer than that. But we're going out to eat tonight, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's my reward for traveling an hour and 20 minutes. I think I'm going to bring you guys back to the shop, and uh, we're going to go through some auction winnings because it's been a few days. So I will see you guys back at the shop in a day or two. But for you, it'll be instantaneous. Well, we are back at the shop and we are going to dig through some auction boxes um, as long as Laurel allows it. She is here with me. She's looking awfully cute in her car seat, aren't ya? All wide-eyed and bushy tail. Oh, you startled yourself. Be careful. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get through one of these boxes today, multitask a little. We'll see how long she hangs out in there. Um, but I feel like she wants to know what's going on and she's going to want to come out and do this haul with us. Okay. Daddy to the rescue. <laughs> Is she sleeping? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have two boxes here. I'm only going to go through one box today. Before we get to the box, I wanted to show you this painting that I bought. Andrew's like, you spent how much on a painting? I only spent $400 on a painting of a dog. Uh, but I did look up the artist and this artist Diego Lukasik. Um, the original artworks sell really really well so 400 was a good deal on this and I figure it's a nice investment in a dog painting and it's adorable. A lot of the other ones are really colorful. Uh, I was looking up some of his other works and they're all real colorful and fun. This one's just black and white but I'm okay with that. I absolutely love it. Well, my suspicions were correct. This is the box that has the most money in it, even besides the $400 painting, because it's an entire collection of dead and pottery. Um, similar to that chick plate that I bought and sold uh, for $1,200. So some of these patterns are more rare than others. Obviously this is the bunny and this is the older mark on these, but I'm talking in the plural because there's a whole bunch in here and I'm going to pull them all out. And here it is. Uh, here is the Dead and Pottery. Andrew, do you recall how much I spent on this? No. I think it was 800 I think I spent $800 on some blue pottery. And the reason I spent that much on it is because our last chick plate had sold for $1,200, as I mentioned. This one is supposedly more rare than that one. So I don't know how much this one would that be worth. Good. That one's called something specific. It's not the chick plate. Like yeah. The yeah. That's not a chick. That's like something else. It's like a quail bird? Maybe a quail. 
I don't know, but I absolutely love this plate. So uh, this is probably, I think, the most valuable out of any of these, but you can see all the different critters on there besides the rabbits. And Isn't there a turtle one? There is a turtle, yes. The rabbits are the most common. Um, the turtle is so cool. They also have mushrooms, and I know those ones sell for really good money, and so do the owls, but we don't have those, unfortunately. We do have turtles. We have a turtle plate. And again, you can see that that mark on the bottom. They have been reproducing these in, I think, the 1980s and 1990s. That mark is different, um, so it's important to, to know that this is the older mark, and that's what makes them more valuable. So here is a... Oh, this one has a whole bunch of markings on the back. Dead and pottery. Oh, crackleware. This one was originally $125. That's what they paid for it. It is marked on the back. Uh, I think presumably where they bought it, 1942 was the date. Give it gives it some provenance. Um, unfortunately, this bunny plate here does have a crack or a chip on it, and that was disclosed when I bought it, so I was aware of that. The bunny plates, I wasn't really as excited about, if I'm being honest. Um, but here's another bunny plate. This is a smaller size. You can see the marking a little bit more clear on that one. And then, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and then we have the swans. Now this one appears to have had some damage. I don't know if that was the manufacturer's defect. Um, but you can see here on the edge, it's got some schmutz. But anyway, this is what I was most excited about. And yes, I did spend a lot of money on it, but um, I anticipate that they're gonna sell for a lot of money. The auction house said they were getting lots of calls from collectors about this this collection. Uh, here is a blue opaline bottle. I think it would have had a stopper, and unfortunately, I don't have the stopper. And that one is not going to work. <laughs> but that's absolutely stunning. I suspect that it's probably French, and it has a bird on it. And then we have. I, yeah, there's still two more plates in there. I couldn't fit on the plate on the table cart, so we'll get through those. Um, this one is Dover. I believe this is North Carolina pottery, crystalline glaze. I absolutely loved that deep blue, and I thought that was gorgeous. This one, and I pulled this out of the box, and I'm thinking to myself, I know who that is, and I can't. I can't. It's M A and Sons, and I cannot remember who makes this but I have bought and sold uh, a piece by this maker before so that was pretty cool this is just a weird shaped vessel there's no markings on the bottom but I thought it was a really neat shape and then this this was really cool when I got it because I turned it and it has this copper luster on the inside and I think that's absolutely gorgeous with the scene on either side and the flow blue. Of course, this is a hunting scene, but you can turn it in this direction. <laughs> Laurel thought that was funny. Or maybe she's just coughing. Um, <laughs> just a cough. It's marked Lond, L-O-N-D-E on the bottom. But that was beautiful. And then these two down here, I could not fit on the cart, but I think this is Elite Limoges, right? No, maybe the other one's Elite, but it just has this very vibrant gold, and it wasn't selling for very much, and I thought, you know what? I can't pass that up. And there are two of them. This one is not as impressive. I believe this one is a transfer. I'm not close enough to tell, but I think this one's a transfer, and I had someone ask on a recent video why I don't buy transfer. It's not that I don't buy it. It's just that I prefer hand-painted china to the transfer stuff. So <laughs> that was it for that box. The most expensive box I've bought in a while, but I'm really excited for those plates. <laughs> so I'm going to end the video here with a close-up of Laurel. Sleeping soundly. Oh, wait, no, not soundly. Just barely sleeping. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.